just there a couple weeks ago. Now we're gonna be over there on the dirt. That's our spot. than drag racing um this is this is our roots so uh we pretty much sit around kind of all day waiting for the show which starts at seven tomorrow night and uh i'll keep you guys updated it's gonna be a fun day it's a fun weekend and i'm excited to vlog it for a lot of people that don't really know what goes on with the pool so we're super pumped we'll uh keep you guys updated hey everyone i'm tired but i mean it's only like, it's, it's almost 9 o'clock, so that's ridiculous. But, today is pool day. That's the track over there. We got a bunch of people down the line. So, we're gonna get at it, unload, and I'll try to keep you guys updated through this, that process since not a lot of people know like what goes into the unloading and loading process. And then, pretty much all day we wait. But, I'll just keep you along with us for little small things that we pretty much just hang out and talk with friends and get things ready. So uh, dad's gonna sharpen the mod tires and um, we're gonna get ready for the pool tonight. Super excited to have you guys with us. Johnson is going to be a papa again. <laughs> Today it's a secret. Well, not really, but sort of. Gracers. That's what we have to do. We have to sharpen the tire. It's not like we've had like two whole years to do this at home, but 
we just I'm pulling. It's not like drag racing where you have to weigh. Um, you can't be under a number. Pulling, you can't be over a number. And a um, majority of the time, the number is 2050. Hey. I'll, I'll make a fire. I'll make a fire. Hitches. Hitches got to be 13 inches. So um, you can run a full hitch or you can run anything underneath that. Sometimes when you run a full hitch, the track can get a little crazy, but it's kind of a stuff you don't.
exhausted. Um, and then mini class Reese won. That's awesome. Grayson only had, um, he was missing a cylinder, so uh, he didn't quite get there. He probably would have if he had everything. Um, all cylinders firing. Uh, but we're checking the motor out. Me, they fired me up. I was fixing, I put my tractor in gear to go forward and it wouldn't move. So uh, that's the unknown. We just didn't want to chance it. Uh, it wasn't moving, so um, if we ever did get in gear, the shifter was acting weird. We were scared that during my run that it would eventually knock out of gear and sink the motor up and maybe throw the rods out. But that was just hind, that was just foresight of us what could have happened. So we just thought it would be best just to do the walk of shame and uh, not run. Go to the mod class. Grayson was first. He ran great run. I think it was like 3.30 something. He dropped because they reset the sled. And uh, Reese ran and we just didn't have what it took to get get up to the front. Um, but awesome, awesome night for our team. Um, I know a lot of our friends have broke a bunch of stuff. We are checking everything over. Hopefully nothing's broken. They're looking at Grayson's tractor to see what's uh, what the deal is. But um, we live to see tomorrow. So that's all that matters. But I will uh, keep you guys updated and on what how the, the tractors check out and uh, how my transmission and shift shifting uh, looks. We've contacted Craig Sage with the uh, SCS gearboxes. And um, we're gonna just go forward and I will talk to you guys in the morning. This rod got too hot, which caused the other side to malfunction as well. Oh, the lifter God. popped out luckily, and the lifter actually went back into the uh, motor. So we had to pull the intake off, the lifter. Normally that don't happen. We got a lucky break right there, so. All right, let him. Feel out. Can you feel that? I've been down here to North Carolina for the Galat show and be here, so it was awesome and a lot of iron. And I think in terms of competition, it was pretty awesome on the track. Absolutely, we appreciate you, Kyle. Glad to be here. Yep. Hey. City 300, um, mods are first class, Grayson's first, Great Reese is last in the class, and then we'll move on to minis. So um, it's gonna be a fun night. There's a ton of people here. Great show, just like it was last night, and hopefully my, uh, my tractor will go in gear this time, because I need to kick my brother's butt. But uh, we're gonna head out there and um, see how we do. Whoa. The boys went and po or Reese went and poked the track. All right, Reese, what what is poking the track? What's well, poking the track? You look for compaction. You're just trying to find the best spot on the track. Sometimes it's a little uh, wet, loose. Uh, you want the best spot, so that's the, you know you got in between both white lines to spot the sled. You want to spot in the best location, so you poke the track. I typically go all the way 300 feet, that way I can see where I need to drive to another end. Absolutely. So, like he mentioned, you have to you, you spot the sled with this cone here. Um, whoever's running first, you 
pushed. And they, they move it in the sled, backs up and moves it in the sled. And then as they go down the track, as like one leaves, whoever wants, who's going next, the crew guy moves the cone to the new location they want to go to. And then I went out and my tractor pulled hard right, had to get on the brake a little bit, and I uh, ended up third, which you cannot complain with with how the the uh, the night went with uh, how hard the boys worked. We can't thank Tyler Slaw, Bruce Slaw, our crew, all my boys. Oh my gosh, they're great. All my boys, but what for all my boys? John, Chasen, Grayson, Reese, my dad, Michael, uh, Steven Sheets, he did a great job. He helped so much with he's he's with a lot. Um, several of the boys helped out. It's been um been an eventful evening so uh, I just want to thank the good Lord um, the good Lord lets us do this um, if it wasn't for him we wouldn't have any of this and my dad and my mom they uh, my dad has worked so hard this weekend I've, several times I've had to tell him to stop and drink some water because I thought he was gonna pass out he is he literally knows these tractors like the back of his hand he, he's been pulling for close to 30 years probably over 30 years and he, he's our rock our team uh, revolves around him so uh, we're super excited to head to Norwalk this upcoming weekend and uh, we'll see how that pro mod action heads up and um, dad will be driving up there and uh, we got a summer full of pulling and drag racing. Oh, 